Okay, so we've got all our data in here. We've got all our calculations done. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is create a pivot table. And if you're not familiar, a pivot table is just a really easy tool that allows you to, to summarize, to sort, uh, account. It can even help you in making charts uh, for all of your data. And we could do this if we wanted to. We could summarize everything based on sales rep or what region they're in or whatever using the sum if function or some other functions. But the pivot table tool allows you to do this really quickly and really easily. So the first thing we're going to do is highlight the data we want to use. So I'm just going to start in cell A1 and click and drag all the way down to the end. And I'm not going to include the two rows we created for total and average. And when I've got that, everything all highlighted, I'm going to go up to insert and pivot table. And it's going to ask you what data you want to use since we already highlighted everything we've got in there what we need and it's going to ask you where do you want the pivot table report to be placed um, if you do existing worksheet it'll end up on this sheet can get kind of confusing so I'm going to put this to a new worksheet and hit OK and now you'll see up here in the middle in, uh, in pink it says pivot table tools that means we're in our pivot table and all we have to do is fill out the the fields that we want to calculate so the first thing we're going to do in columns here I'm just going to click on item and drag it in there Oop, didn't work there we go and you'll notice we have now we have fields for all of the items and a grand total in our columns. Now for the rows, let's just start with region. I'll drag that down there. And it's created rows for each of the different regions. Um, it really doesn't do much good without the totals, so let's take the totals here and drag that down into values. And you see it breaks down all of our sales based on the item and based on the region. So that's a really easy way to break things down like that. It'll also do multiple things. So let's drag sales rep down into the rows. And now it breaks down that data even more. Um, we have sales for binders based on the, the central region. There's all of our salespeople and how many binders they sold. Um, you know, in the east region here, how many the dollar amount of binders, desks, pens, all of that, and it gives us grand totals on each side or in this column and on the bottom. And you can rearrange this data any way you want if you want to move if you drag rep here up above region then it breaks it down by sales rep and gives you the region underneath that's kind of confusing and doesn't really fit our data really well so we'll drag region back on top and that's a little bit easier to understand and it's a really quick way to get a look at breakdowns of the data you're looking at and it works really well with large data sets um, it's all the process is exactly the same no matter how big the data is the only there's only a couple things I want to change here I'm gonna click right here on this sum of total and drag over all of our values and I'm gonna right click on that and go to format cells and all I want to do is add in the dollar sign let it know it's currency so it's easier to read so I'm going to categorize that data as currency 
it's going to automatically give me two decimal places and the dollar symbol in front of it. And you'll see when that happens, some of it no longer fits with a dollar sign inside that column. So what I'm going to do is just go put my cursor between C and D, double click, just like that. If you wanted to, you can drag the column out to whatever width you would like or if you right click on the column you can go to column width and type in a value if you need a special special number there and that looks pretty good um, that's kinda what we're gonna go with that's just a real quick primer on creating a pivot table there's one more thing I want to do here uh, our original sheet was called sales orders this one's just been given the name sheet 4 if you right click on that sheet 4 and go to rename let's type in pivot table and I'd rather have this sheet first so I'm gonna drag click on pivot table and just drag it to the right of sales orders And so now this, our spreadsheet form is first, and our pivot table is second. Um, the next video I'm going to show you, we're just going to do some really quick, a really quick chart or two. Um, and then we're going to go into formatting the spreadsheet to make it a little easier to read.